Homeland Security agents converging on the home of Sean Diddy Combs. Now, officials confirm the raid is tied to a sex trafficking investigation. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's going to in the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonsense. As the properties of Diddy were recently raided, many celebrities have already warned us about his evil acts. And amid a flurry of legal actions targeting Diddy Combs since November, a source with knowledge of the situation revealed to NBC News on Monday that he is now under federal investigation. Federal officials in Manhattan have conducted interviews with three women and one man regarding different accusations, according to a source familiar with the matter. Additionally, interviews with three more individuals have been arranged, the same source confirmed. According to information from four law enforcement insiders, NBC News reports that properties owned by Combs in Los Angeles and Miami were subjected to search warrants on Monday by federal agents affiliated with Homeland Security Investigations. These actions were reportedly conducted under a warrant issued by the Southern District of New York. In a statement, HSI acknowledged that, in conjunction with teams in Miami and Los Angeles, it executed law enforcement actions in New York as part of an ongoing investigation. Prior to his anticipated departure for the Bahamas, Homeland Security authorities confiscated Combs' phones in Miami, as reported by three sources within law enforcement who are knowledgeable about the warrant. Fox 11 was first on the ground. They got the armored vehicles in the driveway. And in the sky as heavily armed federal officials descended on Sean Diddy Combs' Holby Hills mansion. Combs was situated in the Miami vicinity when the searches were conducted, according to these sources. Whether Combs proceeded with his scheduled trip remains uncertain. Following widespread public condemnation of Combs' conduct, news has surfaced regarding a federal inquiry into his actions. The scrutiny intensified after his ex-partner Cassie levied allegations of enduring mistreatment over several years. These accusations were formally presented in a lawsuit lodged in New York towards the end of last year, utilizing the provisions of the New York Adult Survivors Act. This legislation established a unique one-year time frame, allowing adult survivors of mistreatment to pursue civil claims, irrespective of any statute of limitations. Cassie, also known by her full name Cassandra Ventura, reached a settlement with Combs on November 17th, immediately following the filing of the lawsuit under undisclosed terms. Subsequently, three additional females have stepped forward with legal claims filed in the Southern District of New York, asserting that they were victims of mistreatment perpetrated by Combs. Among them, two recounted being adolescents when the alleged mistreatments occurred. In a statement, Douglas Wigdor, Ventura's attorney, and the Jane Doe who filed the lawsuit expressed optimism that the searches and inquiry marked the start of a procedure that will hold Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. We will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law, Wigdor said. However, Combs has described the accusations of mistreatment as sickening and denied each one. In February, a legal complaint was lodged by a former producer who had been employed by Combs from September 2022 to November 2023. The lawsuit claims that during this period, the producer was subjected to mistreatment and threats by Combs, spanning over a year. The former employee, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, also alleged that he had video and audio evidence of Combs, his staff, and others engaging in serious illegal activity. Hello, everyone. Um, until further notice, I would not be performing at any gigs or anything like that um, for security reasons. My family, friends, and everyone close to me it just feels like there's a lot of potential threats and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of. Tyrone Blackburn, the lawyer for Jones, also represents Liza Gardner, Combs accuser. Blackburn said Monday that the federal investigation will not prevent or delay my client's pending and forthcoming actions for justice and resolution from the Combs RICO enterprise. Prior to this, Combs lawyer Sean Hawley refuted Jones's accusations and asserted that Combs group possessed overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. A resident in the Los Angeles neighborhood where the search took place expressed surprise. Ryan Mendelson, age 20, a former resident of the vicinity who continues to frequent a nearby friend's place, shared with journalists his observations of frequent gatherings and the presence of women outside the mentioned residence. While parties were common in other homes as well, Mendelson noted that this particular household consistently hosted gatherings with people lingering outside, particularly women, until the early hours of 6 a.m., which deviated from the norm. He said, I drive by a lot and I see that a lot of girls, maybe five or six girls outside, some leaving, some not, some going in. I never thought anything of it, but now it's crazy. Although Combs has occasionally been charged with a crime, he has had a number of legal problems in the past. In 1999, Combs admitted guilt to mistreating a record executive and received a court-mandated day of anger management. During the same period, he faced allegations of criminal possession of a weapon following a shooting incident at a nightclub in New York City. Witnesses informed authorities that they observed Combs wielding a firearm within the club premises, while the rapper Shine, born Moses Barrow, discharged 
charged shots into the crowd. Subsequently, Combs was intercepted by law enforcement while traveling in a vehicle alongside his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, during which a firearm was discovered. Despite facing charges of weapons possession and bribery, Combs was ultimately acquitted. Conversely, Shine was convicted for his involvement in the club shooting following a trial. On the other hand, it has been alleged that Diddy's private jet was tracked to the Caribbean island of Antigua at the same time that search warrants were executed at his homes in Miami and Los Angeles. According to sources quoted by TMZ, rapper Kanye West's Gulfstream 5 aircraft registered under his Love Air LLC has been spotted on the ground in Antigua. It's still unknown if Diddy was on board the plane when it took off on Monday at 9 in the morning from Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles. The jet's departure time indicates that it had taken off prior to the raids on the rapper's properties. Christine, one of the many burning questions today is where is he? Where was Sean Diddy Combs while these raids were being carried out at his residences? Now, there is video out there allegedly showing him in Miami this afternoon, but officials haven't yet confirmed whether or not he is in custody or not. As you can see, the street has now been opened into his Holmby Hills home. Investigators wrapped up here a couple of hours ago. These operations, led by Homeland Security, form part of a continuous probe into accusations of sex trafficking. His involvement in the incidents being investigated is not known at this time. The plane took off again shortly after it landed in Palm Springs at 7.30 p.m. and reached Van Nuys Airport approximately 30 minutes later at 8 p.m. As the aircraft remains stationed in Antigua, awaiting official confirmation of its landing flight data remains pending. Amidst the raid in Los Angeles, witnesses observed the apprehension of at least two individuals who were promptly handcuffed by authorities. Speculation arising from various sources hints that these detained individuals could potentially be identified as King and Justin, sons of Combs. Meanwhile, the first footage of Diddy following the federal raids on his houses was released by TMZ. And rather than being on the ground and in handcuffs, the man was merely strolling around. I guess you wonder what's gonna happen next, Diddy. I know. Take a glimpse at this exclusive video we've acquired, captured around 3 p.m. PT on Monday, just a couple of hours following the commencement of raids at his residences. This footage was taken at the Miami Opa Laka Executive Airport, where observers recount that Diddy and a few others were intercepted by federal authorities. It appears that Diddy is strolling outside the customs office at the airport, as depicted in this footage. Contrary to expectations, he is not under any form of detention or custody. Rather, he is leisurely pacing around unaccompanied. A bystander recounts that Diddy was patiently awaiting the arrival of other members of his entourage who were also detained and interrogated by the authorities throughout the entire incident. All that is known about him is that he and his crew were detained at Opalaka, where he reportedly seemed to be on a different private jet. At that point, Homeland Security reportedly arrived. Although it may appear peculiar that Diddy remains uncuffed, this aligns with the information we've received about his current circumstances. Sources with direct insight have informed us that he is not currently facing arrest. Furthermore, it's evident that he is not attempting to evade authorities either. As we previously reported, Homeland Security authorities stormed through his houses in two different searches on Monday in Los Angeles and Miami, escorting a few individuals out. Numerous inquiries remain unresolved, yet it seems that law enforcement authorities are delving into allegations of federal crimes directed at Diddy in recent lawsuits. These allegations span various accusations that Diddy vehemently refutes time and again. NBC News has learned that federal authorities have initiated conversations with three women and one man regarding allegations of sex trafficking and other related claims. Further interviews are reportedly planned to take place in the coming days. Across the country, more investigators swarmed the rapper's property in a wealthy section of Miami, appearing to carry out a laptop. Multiple sources tell NBC News Combs was in Miami during the searches and had several phones seized before he was scheduled to leave for a trip to the Bahamas. Now, when it comes to discussions about Diddy's orientation, rumors have persisted for what feels like an eternity, akin to a DJ spinning tracks at an endless party. We're talking about decades of speculation here, folks. And let's not beat around the bush. We're delving into allegations involving some notable male celebrities who have made startling claims. Leading the roster of individuals purportedly linked romantically with Diddy is none other than Exhibit the West Coast rap luminary himself. Apparently, things took a steamy turn at a Miami New Year's bash involving Diddy and Kareen Steffens, and suffice it to say, it didn't culminate favorably for poor Exhibit. But hold on, there's an additional twist awaiting as we delve into the sensational intricacies of Diddy's adventures on the edge with even more renowned personalities. In a riveting interview with Foxhole Radio on Sirius Satellites, shocking revelations were unveiled regarding Diddy's purported 
interest in gay bars. The rapper, known by his real name Alvin Joyner, disclosed an incident where he found himself in a compromising position with the head of Bad Boy Records at a gay bar in Miami, Florida. According to the account, the wild night unfolded during a recent New Year's Eve celebration in South Beach. It all commenced innocently at a house party where Joyner was engaged in conversation with Superhead, a self-proclaimed video vixen. However, the situation took a scandalous turn when Diddy unexpectedly arrived and evidently did not appreciate Joyner's interaction with his female acquaintance. During a captivating interview with Foxhole Radio on Sirius Satellites, Exhibit disclosed fascinating insights about Diddy's unexpected penchant for the West Coast rapper and shared an intriguing anecdote recounting a visit to a gay bar in Miami, Florida, accompanied by the Bad Boy Records mogul. According to Exhibit, this peculiar outing occurred during a recent New Year's Eve celebration in South Beach, Florida. The escapade commenced innocuously enough at a house party, where Exhibit found himself engaged in conversation with Superhead, a self-proclaimed video vixen whom Diddy evidently didn't hold in high regard. Subsequently, Diddy rounded up his entourage and embarked on a spontaneous excursion to a club, accompanied by Exhibit, Superhead, and other acquaintances. Upon their arrival at the club, they were granted access to the VIP lounge. Diddy excused himself to attend some business with Superhead, leaving Exhibit and Superhead to enjoy their drinks. As they savored their beverages, Superhead gestured toward a corner where two men were engaged in a passionate kiss, much to Exhibit's astonishment. Then, Superhead pointed in another direction, where a man was dancing without a stitch of clothing on. The Exhibit, utterly taken aback, departed without bidding farewell to anyone present, citing the shocking sights as his reason. He remarked that despite his extensive club experiences, encountering such activities was unprecedented. The encounter seemed to leave Exhibit deeply unsettled, particularly given his well-known persona as a low-key, smooth-voiced artist. He also lamented Diddy's involvement, attributing Usher's unfortunate situation to Diddy's apparent penchant for same encounters, emphasizing their long-standing brotherhood. Did you know that at the age of 14, Usher went to some crazy parties with Puff Daddy? Yes, you heard that correctly. When Usher originally signed with LaFace Records, it seems that Diddy was mentoring him. Part of that coaching included going to some of Puffy's expensive parties. Here he was, 14 years old, partying with the big boys. Brewer claims that strange things happened at those events, but we'll let you fill in the details. For years, people questioned whether Diddy and Usher were involved in anything more than a mentor-mentee connection because the two never discussed it in public until a live video. From a young age, Usher was destined to become an R&B superstar. He once shared with Howard Stern in a 2016 interview that spending a year with Puff Daddy at just 14 taught him the true essence of fame, though he admitted not enjoying every aspect of that journey. Moved to New York City, and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp? Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. During his inaugural appearance on The Stern Show, Usher shared insights into a world he sought to explore firsthand, the extravagant lifestyle of hip-hop. Amidst the revelry, he encountered a whirlwind of experiences, describing the scene as wild and utterly chaotic. Usher reminisced about rubbing shoulders with the titans of hip-hop, such as Notorious B.I.G., Lil' Kim, Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige, and Craig Mack, all fixtures at Puffy's gatherings. Yet beneath the facade of opulence, Usher hinted at darker undertones, alluding to undisclosed truths about his interactions with Diddy, the bad boy impresario. While he remained guarded about the specifics, a slip of the tongue during a live stream in 2012 hinted at a closeness between him and Diddy that raised eyebrows and fueled speculation about the mogul's personal life. This inadvertent revelation added fodder to swirling rumors about Diddy's orientation and triggered speculation regarding his conduct towards the young Usher. Unfortunately, these are not the first allegations made against Diddy. Rumors circulated that he had previously molested a 14-year-old boy. Some even stated that Usher's mother had confronted Diddy about the alleged mistreatment of her son, but the rumors also suggested that Diddy used his influence and power to intimidate her into dropping the charges. But wait, there's more. Clive Davis has also been mentioned in relation to Diddy's alleged misconduct. Will these shocking revelations ever come to an end? Hollywood has a notorious reputation for its peculiar scandals and hidden truths. One of the major controversies in the music industry revolves around clandestine relationships and unsettling gatherings with renowned music producer Clive Davis featuring prominently in these events. After years of speculation, it has been confirmed that Clive had a romantic involvement with Diddy for over five years. It was with the help of Clive Davis, his mentor. And the further into it all you dig, you realize that Clive Davis came out as gay later on, and there's a lot of rumors that him and Diddy were in a relationship throughout this time. However, 
What remains uncertain is whether Clive willingly entered into this relationship or if he was coerced or blackmailed. Despite his acclaim for music production, Clive's extramarital affairs have become a topic of increasing discussion. Following two unsuccessful marriages, Clive embarked on a journey of self-discovery, exploring his attraction to men. Eventually, he came to the realization that his orientation wasn't as exclusively as he had believed during the first five decades of his life. Clive reached a point in his life where he realized he wanted to be with a man. Upon this realization, he emphasized that he had never felt ashamed of his attraction to men. Rather, he felt perplexed. Clive believes that the topic of requires deeper discussion as it is a valid identity. Following this realization, he entered into a monogamous relationship with a man, which has endured to the present day. It has become evident that this undisclosed partner is none other than Diddy. After years of speculation, the long-standing rumors regarding the inception of Diddy's music career have finally been verified. Clive Davis, a prominent figure in the music industry, recently disclosed that he was in a relationship with Diddy for over five years. Davis mentioned that his current partner accompanies him to various events and trips, but their identity remains private. However, many have noticed that Diddy Diddy frequently appears with Davis at climate events, highlighting their close friendship. Attending the same events doesn't conclusively prove anything, but the fact that both Clive and Diddy, who are openly gay, frequently attend functions together and share a close bond adds weight to the rumors. Clive has been in a long-term committed relationship with a man, openly acknowledging his sexuality, whereas Diddy has been more reserved about his personal life, but has recently come out as gay in private. Clive's transparency about his identity and relationships adds credibility to these speculations. Despite circulating rumors persisting for years, Clive has not refuted them. When Diddy was a 23-year-old aspiring artist trying to establish himself in the fiercely competitive music industry, he encountered the legendary Clive Davis. Diddy impressed Clive with his innovative hip-hop ideas, and the two began collaborating. Clive has since recounted their meeting, expressing how he was seeking an artist who could truly connect with mainstream audiences, a quality he found in Diddy. While Clive has been open about his over the years, Diddy has not publicly discussed it. However, there have been suggestive indications. Diddy's orientation is widely known, as he has often been photographed engaging in behaviors associated with being gay. Meanwhile, Lil Rod also talked about it in his recent lawsuit. Jones specifically claims that they were trying to groom him to do gay stuff, which has long been the talk of the town in the rap industry by people that aren't with it. Diddy allegedly showed him a tape from a secret recording that he just happened to have of, of Jones's idol having gay with some white guy. It's uncertain whether these two men are still involved, but it appears that one of them has been gay for a long time. Then comes the shocker, the fresh Prince of Bel-Air himself. Yes, it's none other than Will Smith. Another surprising revelation involves Diddy, who has allegedly sought favors from the Oscar winner. Diddy and Will Smith have been close friends for decades, bonding since their debut in the rap scene in the 1990s. Despite sharing many fun moments at events and award shows over the years, recent revelations suggest their relationship may not be as innocent as it appears. Despite their successful careers, it seems that their social circle may have had some controversial elements. Additionally, it is undeniable that the two industry giants have attended gay parties together over the years. Both have been openly gay for over three decades. Will Smith, a house household name is married to Jada Pinkett Smith, a fellow Hollywood icon. Together, they have raised three successful children. However, their marriage has been rocky almost from the beginning, with Diddy being part of the problem. Diddy's close friendship with Will Smith led him to attempt to resolve the conflict that arose after the now infamous incident where Will slapped Chris Rock at an event. Taking to the stage, Diddy offered to mediate between Will and Chris, stating, We're going to solve this, but right now we're moving on with love. Some speculate that Diddy's actions were driven by brotherhood, while others question if there's more to the story. Diddy has faced controversy in his relationships with other celebrities, including making advances toward the notorious 50 Cent, as the rapper publicly acknowledged. Actually, 50 has been critical of Diddy for acting inappropriately and has voiced his displeasure with their strange friendship. He says things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. He says something fabulous and he goes, yo, no, but me and you, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> then when it's people say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like, when you see, you see Jay the kids put his head down like, <laughs> while we, we stuck here right now. And the cameras just roll. Everybody see, don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> what if you do some like, like, little fluffy stuff now going you guys on? The speculation surrounding Diddy's rumored preferences has escalated significantly, with 50 Cent contributing to the discussion by introducing new evidence, implicating the music mogul with YK Osiris. 
The compelling nature of the story may make it challenging for Diddy to refute, as per 50 Cent's assertions that Diddy had a past relationship with YK Osiris. Initially dismissed as absurd, it appears that there was already substantial online chatter about the matter. The situation gained such traction that Osiris himself was interrogated, and his response possibly intensified the speculation further. Osiris noted that despite the rumor spreading widely on the internet, his close friends and acquaintances from his hometown, who knew him well, didn't buy into it. Instead, they found it amusing that some people thought Osiris might be hiding something and speculated that he had actually been romantically involved with the individual in question. On the other hand, a video circulating of Diddy referring to Meek Mill as daddy is starting to make sense now. It seems like 2024 is going to be a tumultuous year, and I'm not surprised. I always had a feeling that Diddy would face consequences for his actions, but it's happening sooner and more intensely than we expected. It appears that Diddy had quite an interest in having younger men in Hollywood as his companions. And now, the raids on Combs' properties alongside the ensuing federal investigation represent a pivotal moment that could potentially redefine his legacy. As law enforcement delves into accusations, the narrative of Combs as an influential figure in music and entertainment is being scrutinized in a harsh new light. This situation underscores the broader societal demand for transparency and justice, transcending the boundaries of fame and fortune. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.